Okay, so now that our database table for our users is created, we want to actually be able to connect to our database. Now, if you've never used Eloquent before and never pulled it out of Laravel to use, uh, this might be slightly uh, confusing. But don't worry, later on in the series, when we start to create our user model and start to uh, do anything that we need with our database, this should become a lot clearer. So what we need to do then is inside of app, I'm going to create a new file, which is going to store uh, setting up Eloquent. So I'm going to call this database.php. And we're going to require this file in to our bootstrap file. Now you don't have to create a new file for this, you could include it in here, but it just keeps it uh, a little bit separate so it's a little bit easier to work with. So the way that um, Laravel's database component works is it uses Capsule, which basically is a uh, an easy way of being able to use it outside of your application, it help, outside of Laravel. It helps you use it anywhere you want. So this is namespaced. So we're going to import this namespace first of all. And uh, Laravel components are under the name of Illuminate, so that's the vendor namespace. Then it's under Database, Capsule, and Manager. But we don't want to use the name Manager, so what we can actually do is name this Capsule if we want. So we're naming Manager as Capsule. So now we want to say Capsule equals a new Capsule instance. And now we need to add our database connection. And remember, all of these database connection settings are coming from our configuration. So we can start to use the configuration that we've created now. So all we do to do this is say capsule add connection. We pass in an array here of all of the different things that we need to provide. So inside of here, let's define these. So it's the driver. And I'm just going to set these to empty strings for now. We'll uh, pop over our configuration in a minute. We have a host. We have the database name, which we already know. We have our username and our password. We have our character encoding, our collation, and a prefix if we want to use one. We know all of these settings exist here. We know how to access our config. Remember, it's from app config get. So we say app config get and then we choose the keys and this is db driver so we say db driver and I'm just going to copy and paste these into here just to save a little bit of time and this is db host for the database it's db dot let's just check what we call that name the username and password here so we just say db dot username and db dot password and the char set collation and prefix so let's just say db dot char set collation and prefix and now what we need to do is actually boot Eloquent so we can use it with our models. And don't worry if you don't understand that, we'll be looking at it in a minute when we create our user model. So boot Eloquent. And that is it. We now have a potential connection to our database. As long as we have all our uh, settings defined and we hook this up to our models, we now are able to access our users table that we created a minute ago. So then, in the next video, we're going to actually look at creating the user model, and then we're going to auto load that into our project so we can use the user model anywhere we want to either fetch a particular user, create a new user, update users' details, etc, etc. So let's jump over to the next video and do that now.